Every child is a flower and the school a beautiful garden. One of the most powerful, overlooked, and underestimated aspects of teaching and parenting is language nutrition. The neurological development of the brain depends on the number of words in an interaction between the parent and the child or the teacher and the child on how many words they hear in the first months of their life. Research shows that during the first three years of life, a poor child hears roughly 30 million fewer total words than children from poorer families. This is known as the word gap and it can lead to disparities not just in vocabulary size but also in school readiness, long-term educational and health outcomes. A rich language environment is important to child's early learning and on social emotional development. Let's create an enriching language environment for all young children, including children who do not speak yet. Facilitating thick conversations. Thick conversations are characterized by giving children many chances to speak and communicate. Encourage back and forth exchanges. Invite children to talk about what they're doing. Extend children's language. Encourage higher level thinking by discussing what's happening in the home and what's happening in the classrooms. Ask stimulating and developmentally appropriate questions to boost the language environment. Ask children to provide explanations. Ask children what they are doing. Turn a thin conversation to a thick conversation. Use novel and interesting words. If you were a potty mouth with screams, shouting and swear words, it can be a different and difficult transition. Children are like sponges and take in every single word. So, talk, read, sing and play. Make the garden beautiful because every child is a flower.